Welcome to King Lizard on Xbox One with more Forza Motorsport 6 racing action. This is a showcase. This is at Watkins Glen and it's an early access GT racing showcase. Now in this case I'm actually driving an expert race as always and I'm up against a lot of 80s based supercar or GT based supercar technology. There's some Ferraris there on the left, not quite sure of the models, apologies for that. There's an M1 Pro car, BMW, just to the front left or front right of that Mercedes now. There's another BM in front, not sure of the exact model. But there's a good old, you know, step back in time here, this race. And it is mental fast and it's really, really fun as showcases go. I'm pl obviously playing in an expert, it's pretty tough. I'm not making it look too bad here, creeping up into 19th. You do start at the back of the pack in these races, so you really do have to fight your way forward. I've got six laps to pull in a podium or a win for this. A little bit of a slide there as I go around the corner, really, really hammering it in this thing. Whoa, nasty old corner. But yeah, this is just a great race. It's really, really good fun. And these, these cars are just mentally fast. You can really feel the torque in them. You can really, you know, feel the speed and hear the speed. And the speed is, you know, with a seven-in-one stereo, it really blows your eardrums away. Really, really great stuff. So I managed to squeeze myself into 15 on lap one so far. Obviously, I do have maximum damage on simulation on the tyres and fuel. Don't think I'm going to need fuel in this six-lap race. I think I'll be okay. Tyres on the hand, obviously, that's going to impair over the period of the race. So. I'll just have to see how things go. It may stop me getting to a certain point in the race, but we'll see. I'm going to give it everything I've got and see how far I get. So I have actually processed the replay for this particular race in a separate video because the two of them together would have landed up being a 25 minute video. I just thought that was probably a bit too long for most people. So I split them off into two halves. So the replay will be there very shortly if it's not already for this same race. Uh, I've also been posting up some Nuremberg racing in the rain, which is what another one of the showcases in this particular series. Fantastic race, really good fun. Really hard work at Expert in the rain at Nuremberg on the GP circuit. And as you can see here, kind of storming along 120, you know, 20, 30 mile an hour. Try and sneak past there. Got past that BMW M1 Pro car. Got another BMW in my sights here. See if I can reel him in. Get him close to this nasty corner. Yeah, that's not too bad. You don't have to slow down too much for that section. You do have to slow down, but you can kind of roll it through because it's like almost a straight ended S bend that you can cut straight across. This particular corner, you do have to back off a little bit, but not a lot. You can actually force it round. With this sack speed, though, if you force it too much, and steer with it you'll actually put yourself into a slide which you saw me do earlier nearly went into one there and was just able to recover it but uh, you can really really feel what the vehicle is doing in this game with the feedback from the force feedback controller it's fantastic especially in the rain you know it feels really really good gives the game a whole new lease of life if you love Forza Motorsport 5 you are gonna be blown away by Forza Motorsport 6. There is a lot that's the same, but we do have a lot of new vehicles, a lot of new tracks. I do like the handling model. I personally think it is an improvement on the game in terms of feel. I'm not saying scientifically it's better or it's worse. I'm just saying that for me as a gamer, I really enjoy the feel of this game. And it, you know, it's working well for me and I do have some pretty adrenaline impact racing going on and I really, really enjoy the excitement of those. So it's uh, nice to be jumping into another racing game that wasn't a pain in the ass to get started into and uh, eg project cars you know and get straight into the action and really enjoy it project cars unfortunately for me was a little bit tainted because i had a nightmare time getting you know getting the game even working first which kind of ruined the experience for me a bit like battlefield 4 really where the servers didn't work for six months and by the time they did work i didn't really care anymore um, it is a great game, don't get me wrong, obviously I've fixed it all that crap now, but it kind of tainted the game for me and just, you know, got my, you know, whenever I think of, oh, 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 just got that back, whenever I think of Battlefield 4 it just disdains me really, 
um, you know, the kind of treatment we had as gamers and how long we had to wait before that bloody thing worked. Anyway, no such crap in Forza Motorsport 6. In fact, the Forza series have been probably the most reliable series for server access and everything else. I've had pretty much no issues with Forza Online and stuff. I've had the odd disconnect, but that's not you know unusual for any game. But they've been small and few and far between. You know, their servers and Turn 10 and Microsoft have had their act together with this game. It's the lead franchise and they're looking after it. And rightly so. So I managed to squeeze myself up in the seventh here, fighting for sixth place against this other Zach Speed. I managed to put him behind me, excellent. So I'm in the sixth place here, I've got three and a I guess yeah, three and a bit laps to go, because I'm on the third lap now nearly hit that guy at the rear. You do have to be pretty quick on the response to stop these things. They've got very good brakes but you've got to be quick enough to use them because these things tend to stop on a dime and sometimes computer cars do have a habit of really hammering the brakes on the corner and before you know it you're kind of embedded in the back end of their car. This is actually my third effort on this race in expert. I actually got written off the two times previous with some severe engine damage to the point my car just wouldn't even work anymore. One of them was because of a really tight corner computer car just got it wrong, slammed his brakes on to correct himself and I was flying in behind him unfortunately. I hadn't anticipated him making a mistake and nearly killed myself. So, uh, well, in game anyway. But uh, but yeah, there's some it, it made for interesting uh, racing action anyway. So this is my third attempt at expert here. Hopefully I won't write my car off this time. So I managed to squeeze myself in the third there. Nice bit of driving to get me past those guys. And we're into that fourth lap now. So two and a bit laps to go. Can I reel in second and first? Now with Expert, I've said this before in the videos, you've noticed the dots on the map there in that bottom left corner. Now, second place isn't too far away, but look at first place. It's miles away. I'm not sure if I'm going to catch that guy in first place. I might be able to reel in second if I play my cards right and I, you know, cross all my T's and I dot my I's and don't make any mistakes. As I'm saying that, second place looks like he's gained a bit of ground on me. So I'm just going to push this thing as hard as I can. Hopefully I'm not going to come a cropper. That's going to normally happen. Whoa, hold on. I nearly lost it there. But this thing is just so lively. And you, you know, I toned down the sound so that you guys can hear me talking because initially, when I tried the first cut of this video with the crash, I was going to stick it in anyway. You, you just couldn't hear my voice, the engine was so loud. So, I've actually had to tame down the game sound so that you guys can hear me while I'm playing. Okay, so quite a tight little section that one. You you've got the grace of going wide there you really don't want to go wide because obviously you're costing yourself time and speed but you can kind of get around that corner a little bit quicker but obviously at the cost of a bit more distance and we're into lap five just under two laps to go this section you can kind of go around reasonably quickly you do have to back off the accelerator you can push it for a little bit this next section you can pretty much floor it with the odd let go of the accelerator same again you can just kind of let go a little bit there and then you're flanning it out now and you just keep your foot on the accelerate here and keep boosting it see if we can reel this sucker in in second place and slow it down about now you don't have to slow all the way down you can cross straight over this s bend a little bit of a let go on this corner otherwise you'll land up on the grass and then a bit more acceleration back off just that little bit and now you can start flooring it again start hearing your tyres squeal back off and then re-accelerate. This one's quite a tight corner, you do need to back off quite heavily here. You can get around there at reasonable speeds, you see I'm doing 80 odd miles an hour around there, not too bad. A little bit of complaint from the Zach speed but she made it. And this corner here you do have to back off a little bit, you will go wide and you will hit that tyre barrier if you don't behave yourself made some pretty good ground on this second place guy at the moment. I'm hoping I can reel this guy in. I've got a nasty feeling it's going to be damn close. So, here we go. Oh, lost it a little 
but they managed to reel her back in. You can push this reasonably well. You don't have to slow right down for that corner. That was a 60 odd mile an hour corner. This corner is a little bit tight, but again, you can get pretty good speed through there, 100 plus mile an hour through that corner. Back off on this corner, but again, you can get around here about 80 if you play it careful. And we're coming into the sick lap. The second place made a bit more ground on me there. I'm not sure I'm going to reel them in. I'm just going to have to push that a little bit harder. So I'm forcing it around a little bit more this time into that corner. And this section you can pretty much flat it out. Just let if you feel a bit of a shift in the car, just let go for a split second and then reapply the accelerator. That's normally enough just to stop you getting into trouble and then getting back onto speed as quick as possible. And if I get this right and I break really late, cross over this section, I can make up some good ground on this guy. Yeah, pretty close to him now. To see if I can reel him in. Pushing this is faster than I was before in this corner, holding quite well. Really tight section coming out, got to play my cards right here. We'll take a bit of a gamble. Touching that ribbon there, don't really want to accelerate on the ribbon, that's going to be quite, uh, quite a problem for me. If I keep getting into that habit, I'm catching this guy pretty quickly. I've got about half a lap to reel this guy in, this is the second place guy. Definitely not going to get first. Look at that guy, he's miles. So, as I said, it is expert difficulty, which is the third hardest difficulty, so not the easiest in the world. And I am, a, I am an automatic driver, so I'm not using manual gears. If I was using manual gears, I could probably win this quite easily, but I just prefer driving the game more, and I enjoy it more. It's less stress on me. So, coming up to the end of this race, he's managed to creep away again. I've really got to pull out something special here to catch this guy. I'm just going to have to take a few more risks and just hammer it that little bit more. Coming into the final strand, really pushing it here. If I push it enough, you decide what happens. Take care, keep watching. Please remember to rate and subscribe. But I do get set.